Hello and welcome to the Zeiss EQ Workplace tutorial videos. In this video, we will show you how to manage your IOLs for the use in Zeiss EQ Workplace. The IOLs can be managed in EQ Workplace web service. After logging in, Zeiss EQ Workplace web service opens with the IOL constant personalization screen. Click on the IOL Management tab. In the upper table, your personal IOLs are displayed. A list with all IOLs available in the system database is displayed below under All IOLs. Please note that only the IOLs added to your personal list in IOL Management can be selected in Zeiss EQ Workplace for IOL calculation and personalization in the IOL constant personalization tab. How to add an IOL from the all IOLs list to your personal list, you ask? Well, it's very easy. Select the IOL you want to add to your my IOLs list by clicking on it. If an IOL is selected, details about the respective IOL are displayed in the dialog window that opens. If you want to save the IOL to My IOLs with the given parameters, directly click on the Add button. The IOL has now been added to your personal list. You are also able to adjust the IOLs from the All IOLs list before you add it. Select another IOL, for instance, the Zeiss AT Lara Toric 929. In the IOL specification dialog, you can enter a personalized name affix for this IOL. As an example, test. The name affix is appended to the name with a dash so that IOLs with the same name can be distinguished. In addition, you can change the constants of the IOL. Change the Hages constant A1 to 0 0.45. Click on Add to save the adjusted IOL. You can also manually create and add a new IOL to the My IOLs list by clicking on Create New IOL. Watch the video, How to Create a New Toric IOL Manually on EQ Workplace to learn more. You can also remove IOLs from your personal list. Hover over the IOL you want to remove until it is highlighted in light blue. For example, AT Lara Toric 929-test, the IOL we've just created. Click on the remove basket that appears next to the IOL name. Confirm to remove the IOL by clicking OK in the window that opens. Note that removing an IOL from the personal IOL list deletes all data related to the IOL, including all personalization results. The data cannot be recovered. This IOL can no longer be calculated in Zeiss EQ Workplace when creating a plan. Please re-log into Zeiss EQ Workplace in Zeiss Forum Viewer with your Zeiss ID in order to apply all changes done in the Zeiss EQ Workplace web service IOL management. That's all for this video. Here are the top three tips to remember. One, you can configure your personal IOL list in Zeiss EQ Workplace web service by adjusting and adding new IOLs from the All IOLs list. Two, you can also remove the IOLs you don't want to use anymore. Remember, removing IOL from your personal list deletes all data relating to this IOL, so make sure you remove the right IOL. Three, you can also manually create a new IOL and add it to your personal IOL list. 
Thanks for watching. Please check out the other videos on this website platform to learn more about Zeiss EQ Workplace.